Hey Trinidad, what's up, what's up, what's up? When a government minister is robbed, you know that the criminals have taken their trade to the next level and things are definitely out of hand. It has passed a state of lawlessness. It is in to a new heights, which we may not be able to define anymore. But when you see headlines like these, gun to head and rob, just letting you know where crime has reached, that is a significant statement. Tuesday to my constituency, five o'clock, hot sun, bright sun, sitting outside Nyabingi Bar on Bujibi Church with a constituent. Two fellows walk up to me, put a gun to the head, and rob me of my bracelet. Just let you know where crime was. So you heard from the minister himself that he was robbed. Nothing to salivate about. I don't think anyone in Trinidad should be salivating over anybody getting robbed whatsoever. Minister of Health and Member of Parliament for St. Joseph was robbed of a gold bracelet on Tuesday afternoon as he sat outside in Nabinki Bar at the corner of Abercrombie and King Street's St. Joseph. A video of him telling someone what had happened was posted to social media. I am in St. Joseph in my constituency, five o'clock. Hot sun, bright sun, sitting outside Nabingi Bar, opposite the St. Joseph RC with a constituent. Two fellas walk up to me, put a gun to my head, and rob me of my bracelet, he said. He then tells the person on the other end, just letting you know where crime has reached. Don't knock the police. I'm just letting you know, he said, following which the video stops. This is terrible. When a government minister is robbed, in broad daylight, it means that crime has gone to a new height. It has gone to a new level. People have no respect whatsoever anymore. You would think that that would be the last person that anybody, any criminal, anybody with a criminal mind would want to go and rob. Well, that certainly is going to take home to the government. More needs to be done when it comes to the issue of crime. That has certainly taken it to a new level. Let's continue. At the time of the conversation, there is a marked police SUV near to him with a uniform officer apparently listening to the conversation. The Express said it reached out to the minister, but he declined all the calls. He did respond via WhatsApp, however, confirming that he was robbed. And the theft occurred at 5 p.m. He was asked how he felt about this, but there was no response. Of course, he will have to take time to contemplate about what happened to him before he can really respond like i said that has taken crime to a whole new level in trinidad and tobago it means therefore now that the government will have to put down its foot much more forceful on the issue of crime and criminals and how they operate that is something i believe that the opposition and the government will have to work hand in hand on and the people themselves will have to help the police to curb the issue of crime like I said, this is a new level. This is a government minister. That's the last person you think that anybody would want to rob. Leave your comments in the section below, and I'll see you again, Trinidad. Take it easy. We are certainly not at ease at all because we recognize that the crime situation demands decisive action by the police. And therefore, we are saying that we are taking a no-nonsense approach. We are going to be stepping up in terms of the number of patrols and you're going to see that patrol the patrols will be most uh with the army being part and parcel of what is happening because it is not just about the ttps this is where it is about having that multi-agency approach